Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft from the Minecraft server. I forgot I was out of food. Anyway, I came over here and I started filling in some more of this uh, stone for my nether hub. Didn't get too far when I noticed the stairway. It wasn't actually connected, it was above. Um, so I added these little parts here. And it's got torches on it, which makes me think that somebody kind of uses this regularly. And that's not a good thing, because I just, I just stole some quartz from... <laughs> the inside of this part. That's why there's a hole. But anyway, uh, it's not a good thing. I don't want to like mess anybody's tunnel up. Oh, man. Yeah, this might be an issue. Where the heck does this go? Hmm. There's a tunnel right here. This might lead back to spawn. I don't know who's, who's tunnel. Well, there's a sign here, so we're going to find out whose it is. Kurt's Taiga for Forest Cabin. Okay, so this is Kurt's portal. What we could do is integrate his tunnel into our build. So, um, I don't know if it's uh, like an integral, <laughs> integrate, integral. I don't know if it's an important tunnel for him. I don't know if it goes anywhere specifically other than through my area and then down. it might go down to that other portal that we saw. <sighs> Crap. Anyway, I'm gonna try to, rem I'm gonna keep that open and I'm gonna integrate that into my build somehow. I gotta get some food. Hopefully this goes well. <laughs> Come on, looting sword. Don't don't die from the fire. Don't die from the fire. Don't die from the fire. There he is. You go away. There we go. We got one. Yeah. Awesome. Um, yeah, I'm starting to collect some ender pearls. I want to find the end. Uh, I think Nebris has already found it, but whatever. Nebris does not exist to us. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, we want to find it for ourselves. Plus, we might find a second portal, and maybe we can do something with it in the future. I came and stole 64 fish from my shop. I had I had to do... Oh, there's another one. I have to do what I have to do. Oh, this guy's going to probably... Oh, that's not the one I wanted to use. Let's do this quickly now. Quickly now. Break. There you are, buddy. Yeah, there you go. Can you give me another board? Oh, another portal. <laughs> another uh, pearl. Mm. 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 Come on. Come back to me. What? What? Where'd he go? Ah, you goober. Well, I guess we got one. That's not bad. There's a new shop in town, by the way. Have you guys seen this? I don't know. I think this is Zisto's. I mean, it looks like a Zisto build. He usually does, like, the four entrances to the middle. Um, I'm not sure... If there's an entrance on this side, because this side is supposed to be attached to somebody else's shop, so he might not have an entrance. No, he doesn't have an entrance here. This is Chad's Red Light District. Oh my goodness, Chad. Oh my goodness. Uh, but yeah, this is Zisol's shop. It looks like he might be selling some of this stuff too, the Prismarine stuff. Um, I hope. We'll see. Because <laughs> I'd love to have some. He's got a competing shop across the street. Whichever one gets done first, that's the one I'm purchasing from first. Especially if they have competing prices. Oh, man. Oh, it's raining. Look at that. Minecraft server. Rain. Unheard of. It's getting there. It's getting there. I'm all out of smooth stone again, so that's um, a problem. But it's getting there. I've got about, uh, well, I guess I only have like the top half left. Yeah, it's, it's going to be nice, I think. Then I'm going to put some snow down and decorate it a little bit. I wanted to make this thing right here a couple of trees. Let me see. Let me stand back here. I don't know how I'll hide this very well. Maybe make a couple of trees with logs coming out. With logs, obviously with logs. Uh, maybe coming out of here. I might change this into grass, actually. Maybe even make... Yeah, I might actually put a layer of grass up here. I have grass right now. Let's see how that looks. Oh, crap. Didn't mean to do that. Um, let's see how this looks. We'll put some grass here in random locations. Not random locations, just covering up the stone. And then I'm going to plant, possibly. Or not not actually plant, but make it look like there's some trees planted along the side. And I'm going to uh, shape them and stuff to accommodate the area. So something like this. That's pretty good. Oh, I don't want that there should repair this shovel and then like uh, maybe just something like that let's see how that looks it's pretty good it's a little lackluster on this side so let's maybe fill in a couple of these that's not bad now 
I could have maybe one tree growing from here, going up and then curving. Uh, maybe not even curving. We, we, it might not have to curve. Maybe we don't have a tree at all. I don't know, man. I don't know. I have to think about this a little bit more. In the meantime, let's do something else. I'm still wanting to get as many of these uh, pearls as possible. So I'm going to keep looking. For Enderman. Come here, buddy. The problem is the sword. I think I need a looting three sword that does not have fire on it. And this is a looting two sword with fire. So, kind of working against me here. Come on, dude. Oh, Jeebus. Where you at? There you go. Got another one. That's Oh, I got two there. That's three total. Not bad. Anybody else in the area? This area is usually pretty good for Enderman. I'm going to do a little AFK fishing here for 20 minutes and see what it gets me. Maybe maybe nah, 20 minutes is good enough. So, you can see I have nothing in my chest. Uh, this is just a fishing rod chest, which I don't need anymore because I got this bad boy and it is the greatest. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, I may have put it in here already. That's not good. <laughs> That's my fishing rod. I have nothing in this chest. These are... You've got a couple of them here. Nothing in there. We got a sharpness three book here and some fish here. Um, so, nothing in my chesticle. We're going to see what we end up with after 20 minutes of AFK fishing. I haven't used this thing in a while. Let's see. You just do this, right? And now I got to, like, aim here. I'm going to put my speaker on top of the mouse here. Oh, goodness. Yep, I'm just going to do that in a little bit. I'm going to aim a little bit higher here with my left hand now. That's why it's a little difficult. And lay the speaker on my right mouse button. Oh, it's slipping off. It's Oh, goodness. Okay. I'm not very good at doing things like this. Um, yeah, let's try this one more time. Speaker. Okay, I did it. 20 minutes starting now. I just got a fish. I am back. After about 20 minutes, it's been a little bit over 20 minutes, not going to lie. Let me get all of my equipment out of the way here. Um, let's leave her. I'm tired. I had to chase, chase Daisy around. She's like, whew, I'm real tired. She's scratching like a, a hole in her ear because her ear is itchy, so she just keeps scratching. And I gave her anti-allergy medication, and now I put a, a healing salve on the ear. Anyway, here we go. Oh, man, not a lot of books. Sharpness 3, flame. <laughs> well... Not exactly what I was looking for, but hey, we got some more things for the shop. Some name tags, some saddles. You know, I'm going to leave this here until I'm ready to actually take it all. Let's put that back too. What is this one? Power 4, Unbreaking. That's pretty good. Infinity, that's good. Unbreaking. Eh. Power 3 Punch 1, that's not bad. Okay, well. We only got Flame and Sharpness. Crap. I got to like AFK fish for like an entire day. Hopefully it's nighttime. It is nighttime. About midnight, too. So, let's go searching for more of these Endermang. We have six Ender Pearls total. That's not bad. Well, we had we had three in the chest here. But let's just put these six aside. I could not find any Endermen, and it's about to turn daytime. So, um, I guess we're just going to give up on tonight. There are a couple of things I wanted to get done today. I have no idea how long I've been recording because of the whole... The whole AFK fishing, it kind of threw me off. So I don't know, uh, my internal clock <laughs> is not letting me know exactly how much I recorded. <clears throat> Excuse me. But one thing we have to do for sure is breed these cows because uh, we're going to run... Oh, didn't want to jump in there? Good. We're going to run out of meat in no time. And then, of course, we don't even need to breed the chickens. All we got to do is just collect their eggs and then throw a bunch of eggs at their faces. Yeah. Is this Strudel, by the way? Strudel is... Hey, dude, I'm busy. I'm busy breeding the animals, you dummy. That's not Strudel, by the way. I don't know where... He, he's probably, he probably wants to go to the nether. He wants to be a nether... Uh, wait, what are they called? Pigman? You know, those guys in the nether. <laughs> ah, whatever they're called. Anyway, there we go. We got some... I, I mean, we got one baby chicken. I think we got a couple... Ba oh, Jesus! Where'd you even come from? Oh, I, I may have killed the baby chicken. Okay. All right. I think we're good. Uh, no Enderman tonight. But let's work on some pathing, shall we? So a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, I asked you which path you liked best. A lot of you guys didn't like the, the old beat down path. And I can't remember who actually won the debate. I think it was the Cobble that won the debate. Cobble with a little bit of mossy. And I agree. I think it'll look really, really nice. Um... It's just so flat, you know? I, I don't know. I guess it's, it's just going to have to do. We're just going to have to make do with the cobble. 
most of this is going to end up being covered in snow anyway. Like this part is all going to end up being covered in snow, so it's not a big deal. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, maybe start. We're not going to start from up here. We're going to start from down here. I want to start at the, oh, do I have any material? No. I want to start at the um, the mine shaft. We gotta build something around that mine shaft entrance, and then we're gonna make a path coming out of it. Here's the entrance to the mine shaft. Now the house takes a very specific. Oh my goodness, I still haven't gotten rid of that. <laughs> the house take, takes a very specific roof pattern. Um, so I'm gonna try to incorporate a little bit instead of using the cyan clay. I'm gonna try to use these uh, dark oak woods because I feel like that's more miney, if if that makes any sense. Uh, maybe we'll leave this indent here and let's get rid of this. Let's use silk touch because I might need, well, I'm definitely going to need that for, um, for my, uh, nether build. So let's use this, these stone bricks. Oh no, let's start with this. Uh, yeah, right here. We'll do that at the bottom. Is a one wide, two narrow? It might be. So let's do two wide, which means we got to expand this just a little bit more and we'll put it like into the into the the actual stone the side of the mountain here i think i may have gone one too high here then we're going to switch to this how does that look in terms of color combination that's pretty good that is pretty good um, i don't want to make this too tall but let's see how this looks we could do two we could do a, a bit higher of a slope this time Oh, is that going to work out perfectly? It sure is. Oh, my goodness. How about that? Something like that for the entrance? I feel like it is a bit tall on this side. So let's break it down. Rebuild it at one block lower height. We'll put that there. And then we'll put this here. I know you can't really see them now, but that's okay. You'll see them when you come in. And then we'll start it like so. Like that, and oh, nope, that goes, is that still going to be too tall? So go like that. It just looks a little awkward now. Okay, let's fall. Let's do one more thing. Let's try to follow the pattern that uh, the roof has, which is every two uh, places it goes up. So if we do that, we'll end up with something that looks like like that that means I would have to make it wider one more thing <laughs> what if we made the middle one tall broke this or one wide and then made hmm this is presenting to be or it's 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 a bit of a predicament okay I got another idea I think I finally found the winning combination here. Now all we got to do is bring it out a little bit. Uh, I don't think I want the log facing that way though. Bring it out. Okay. I'll put a little bit higher there. I don't know how deep we should go. Maybe that's... Oh, no. That's probably good enough. And then we can bring it inwards. So in this way and continue the pattern in there. That's kind of cool. Again, I wanted it to be... I want it to look a little bit uh, modern, like a modern mine shaft. <laughs> you know, those modern mine shaft. My goodness, my placement skills are really off today. Modern mine shaft. Beautiful. Um, so let's go ahead and continue the pattern through here. I don't mind the fact that it goes in and out. Let's get this out of the way. All right, and then we go like that, 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 that. Not bad. And of course, again, continue the pattern. Oh, I should do it in the back too, shouldn't I? Let's see if I like the way this looks first. I do like the way this looks. This is going to be nice. Not bad. Not bad. Um, I'm still not 100% happy with it. Why? Because these edges on the side are really, really flat. And if I extend it like this, it throws off the pattern. If I extend it on the lower end, it looks like a droopy... Oops, again, my placement skills on point today. It looks like a droopy ceiling. And if I extend it above, which is about, like to follow the pattern, it looks a little bit ridiculous. So, <laughs> once again... Overthinking, over engineering, or uh, probably not over engineering, uh, but let's try one last time <clears throat> to change something up here. 
excuse me, I apologize for that cough. I, I didn't mean to, especially like right in your ear if you're wearing headphones. Um, so if we continue it like this and have the original path too wide, then we can have, oh goodness, Bubba's really angry at something. Then we can have um, this going on like that. No, I like the original. We're going to stick with the original. Here's something that might help me with the uh, with the prob the whole problem of this thing um, not sticking out. We could do stairs, and now we got a little bit of separation. How does that look though? Does it look silly? Does it look like weak or something? Hmm, it might look a little weak here. Let's try this on this side. I like the way it looks on the outside, but the inside not so much. My goodness, why is this so? Sometimes the smallest builds are the most difficult. Hey, that gives it some definition, and I don't mind the way that looks at all. I hear you. I hear you, zombie. Where you at? There you are. You would come to check out my mine shaft? All the zombies like to check out my mine shaft. Do I have... Oh, yeah. I have the wood on me. So let's make uh, a couple other things here. We should be searching for um, fences or gates. Fences or gates. Let's do gates. Yeah, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, boom. Let's do gates here on the end. I don't hear any zombies coming after me now. It's a little bit eerie. So we'll do this. Uh, one more on this side, of course. Boom. Just to do a little bit of support there on the roof, give it a little bit of definition, a little bit of detail. Um, that's not bad. That's not bad. I'm starting to like the end. The edge. <laughs> The end and edge combined. I'm starting to like the edge now because um, it's just it's just not as straight. Before it was just a straight line. Now it's got that little that little space in inside. It's pretty good. However, however, I don't like the fact that you can see this one. So let's do this, okay? And now we can put the smooth stone back. And now perhaps look for some endermen. What the? There's a portal right here. This is not my portal. I still haven't taken down the portal on top of my jungle tree. But look, there's my base. There's a portal. Base, portal, base, portal. That's a pineapple pen reference. That's, that was a bad one, though. That song is so ridiculous but so catchy. I can't help but dance when I sing or when I hear it. What is happening here? Is somebody using this? Is somebody using this to harvest dirt? <gasps> what the heck? What is happening here? That was made recently, I'm sure. Unless the grass, unless the grass was just far enough that I couldn't, uh, I wasn't close enough for it to regrow. What in the world is happening here? Oh, there's some spooky stuff happening around my place, and I don't know how to explain it. It's unexplainable. It's an unsolved mystery. Who used to watch that show? I love that show. Um, alrighty, you know what, you know what, here's what's going to happen, uh, I'm going to leave the torches down there, so that whoever did make this gets a little bit spooked that it's been discovered, however, maybe they won't even realize the torches are down there, I'm going to go ahead and place some dirt here, nobody's going to know that I looked at it, nobody, where's this portal go by the way? Aha! This is the... There it is. There's my portal. The one that I'm turning into the, the Extreme Hills biome. This portal goes down here. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. I wonder what's going on here. Maybe it's just somebody that was exploring and they were trying to find a cool spot. And then they came across that spot. And then they made that dirt platform for whatever reason. And then... 
and then they saw that I was building there, and so they changed their minds, and they left. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know what else, what other reason there could be. It's time for... Okay, there's a zombie here somewhere. It's time for a little more decoration. Did you like... Okay, I thought maybe the zombie went inside there. I want to put in a couple of things that will just remind you of home. Not remind you of home, sorry. Remind you of... Um, of mining so we got a little bit of a pick and a little bit of a shovel let's put a couple chests here like that so we got a nice little entrance way here I'm thinking out here I want to kind of hide um I know this kind of defeats the purpose of what I just did with the with the thing but I want to kind of hide that's not gonna hide at all I want to put one of these on top of on top of, oh, I thought I had made a fence. I guess not. On top of a fence, uh, that should be enough. Uh, one, two, four. Yeah, that's enough. So we go like this. And we do this. And we got a, a fence post here. And I kind of wanted to just put it right here. But not have a visible a visible uh, mechanism lighting it and that's gonna uh, it's gonna be a little hard it's gonna be a little hard because I could do this right and then put this back but now like when you look ah, you could barely see it I think it's fine so that's kind of cool we have a little bit of an entrance nothing too special here but it's it's better than nothing and now let's go ahead and start creating the path outwards I guess this should be uh, maybe not that one Definitely this one. Um, let's see. We'll turn three into two, or sorry, four into two. We don't want a four wide path. So let's begin. I don't mind making it look a little bit beaten, just a little, because that this is like a, a a path to a mine shaft. You figure people are coming across here, and they're carrying heavy materials. And by people, I mean me, because I'm the only one who has access to Magic Mountain. So uh, we'll do this. Okay, so just simple pathing. Again, man, it's so tough. Uh, let's skip that one. It's so tough to just not do like mixed paths, but you guys are right. It's not gonna be, it's it's kind of a modern house, so could use some of this though, right? This looks real close to cobble and it'll just give it a little bit of a different effect. Let's turn our path around here or turn our path outwards here. So we'll do that and maybe have these on the outside, the ones I just picked up, andesite. That's not andesite. Come on, mouse wheel. There we go. And we'll path our way this way, I guess. Like that? How's that look? It looks really, really straight. I think I gotta like curve it a little bit more. And then how, what's our strategy to get up the mountain? Maybe just carve a path up this way, or we can carve a path this way and then this way. Ooh, that would be kind of nice. Okay, let's do that then. Let's curve it a little bit more starting here. I don't want to have too straight of a pattern at any point. Maybe, um, oops, like this, and then we'll bring this in a, oh goodness. <laughs> I forgot, it's, uh, it's hollow down there, like that. How does that look? That's pretty good. Well, we obviously, we could use a little bit more of this in the corner. Uh, maybe some smooth stone right there. I feel like this one needs to also be... Nah, I think that's good. I think that's good. Yeah. This one definitely needs to be expanded here, though, in this corner. And then paths are, paths are hard. Uh, like that, and we will do, it's kind of weird that there's all this andesite around here because it's sometimes used in the path, but we'll go with a little bit of a cobble action. And then we'll do some smooth stone, so you can see, you can clearly see a path. Yeah, that's good, and then, so let's curve it out again, and then curve it in, in a U shape, and then go around here. And this is where we'll make, we'll carve the side of the mountain here to have some stairs going up. So there's the start of the stairs, and we're curving it again, because straight paths suck. And we're, 
or putting maybe half slabs here. I like to use half slabs when it's like a terrain change, but then when it's like an actual staircase, I like to use actual stairs. This, and this should be good to go, and it's nighttime again, so I can go hunting for more Endermen. Hopefully find them. All right, that's pretty plain stuff. Pretty plain stuff. Let's maybe throw a couple of these in there every once in a while. I know, I know. Why is this path beaten down? It's a brand new house. I'm sorry, I just hate these straight paths. Um, that's a little better. And maybe we'll put one of these in here, especially since it's like native to the area. That's looking pretty good. And now I think over here I could probably maybe plant a pine tree or do something. Oh, that reminds me. I did want to put a little bit of a pot in here. Oh, and I think. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, yeah. I wanted. I brought a bunch of stuff to decorate with. I wanted to have like a ladder just like leaning up. Obviously, we can't lean anything up, but we'll have just a ladder here. I can't place a ladder there? Oh, because it's the back of a, a stair. Okay. We'll just leave a ladder here, and then I wanted to put a little pot at the entrance with a little bit of a flower. Why not? It's looking real good. It makes me want to go, um, whatever this is called. Mining. Oh, look who it is. Just the man I wanted to see, too. Eh, 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 eh. You don't go anywhere, buddy. Here, I'm looking at you right now. Come get me, big fella. Yeah, I know. You're going to be burning for a bit, which kind of... <gasps> Try to sneak up on me. Oh, I see you. What the crap? He died of fire damage. Didn't drop a pearl. I don't know where he died, though, so maybe he did drop a pearl. I have no idea. I don't see any XP either. Oh, wait. Is this where he died, maybe? Looks like it. There's a witch right there. What am I doing? Getting so close. Okay. No, no pearl. What else we got? Let's take this down and go look for some more. I desperately want to find the end or a fortress need to get a sword that does not have fire on it so um, i'm gonna make an iron sword and this is gonna be solely used for killing endermen and we have looting too that's not bad just looting too do we have an unbreaking book um i think i got rid of all my books in the great christmas giveaway of 2016 so i don't have an unbreaking book unless i got one i can't remember i think one of them was one of them was sharpness. Ooh, we could probably put sharpness on it, too. The night's going to pass me by before I know it. So sharpness and flame. Yeah, we don't want flame. <laughs> That's the one thing we don't want. But we could put sharpness on it. So now we have looting two, which is, I mean, it's not as good as looting three. But, oh, you know what I could have done? Is made another diamond sword and then combined it, and this would have been looting three. But I'd still have fire aspect, and fire aspect sucks for, uh, for killing these guys. Where'd my... Anvil go. I don't know. Am I short an anvil? Alright, I guess we'll just have to make one. Let's get this sword. Some sharpness. We might even be able to catch an Enderman or two here. Looting two sharpness three. Not bad for an Enderman killer. Um, now we just gotta find the Enderman to kill. Found one. Hello, but uh oh. Oh, goodness. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, that's fine. Hi. Hello. Uh-huh. He hurt me. Ooh, he hurt me again. Aha, we got three more. Nice. Okay, you can shut up now. Just realized this episode is actually getting pretty long. Um, something I was thinking about. You can't was thinking about. You can't get Ender pearls from fishing, AFK fishing, but you should totally be able to because Endermen die when they touch water. So you'd think that every once in a while, an Enderman might I don't know happen upon some water, accidentally die, and his pearls will be left at the bottom of the ocean. You know, doesn't that make sense? It makes sense to me. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna end the episode here. I'll continue this thing in the next episode or off camera, depending on how I feel. Um, it's looking pretty cool so far. We got to come up with some sort of maybe just some random fences and stuff would be kind of cool too, right? Just like uh, eh, something like that. <laughs> Obviously not just that. A little bit further, but that'd be kind of nice. I like the entrance here. It's looking it's looking good. Um, yeah, that's it. I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.